Well, I'm from a garrison area down by near downtown Kingston. The garrison is called Johnstown. I have been struggling on the road for over almost four years. But I try to always to keep myself out of trouble. But sometimes I keep myself out of trouble, troubles come to you. Right now I'm living in the gully and I'm trying to open prayer every day just to leave the gully. To go somewhere that's more better off that I can live my life and enjoy myself more. It is quite difficult for anyone who is growing here in India. We face so much of stigma and discrimination every day. And I always talk about the kind of stigma and discrimination which is we are so used to it and we think that it's part of our life. I mean, we deserve it. We haven't seen many transgenders and hijras in the, in the mainstream society. Uh, lack of job opportunities, lack of um, you know, ownership among them, stigma, discrimination, violence, harassment is quite closely attached with this visible, so-called visible but yet invisible community. The Indian government, the law, uh, which does not recognize uh, men who have sex with men. And it's quite difficult uh, for the government to really understand the needs of the community. The draft laws that are uh, currently registered uh, in the Kyrgyz parliament, we have two draft laws. The first draft law, which was registered in March this year, it prohibits pro uh, propaganda of homosexuality uh, in media or in person-to-person uh, -person communication or anywhere else. Um, but it doesn't limit the scope. So you just cannot, uh, you, you're basically banned from talking about homosexuality. Even demands of non-discrimination, demands to stop violence against LGBT people will be considered propaganda of homosexuality which is very strange logic because why, how can you see this as propaganda when you're talking about violence and hate crimes against LGBT people, but still. So basically, these draft laws are aimed at uh, limiting all kinds of information about homosexuality, about gender identity, sexual orientation in general. It is our culture that we are religious. It is our culture that um, homosexuality is wrong. We're not, we're not check for them things. Your family can accept you, but the community won't. And so even if your mother or your father or your sister may have some tolerance towards you, you will still have to leave. Because remember, you will have to live in a community that hates you. An 1864 act has been used to criminalize anyone who considers themselves LGBT. You are wrong under the law, people will say, you deserve to die, you deserve to be in prison. This is a very serious problem. The police and the media has taken a few isolated incidents of robbery involving gays and has turned it into a whole scale marketing to say gay people are robbers and thieves. A lot of people have been suffering, gay people have been suffering, a lot of us need help. Some of us, even if they do get help, they do appreciate it.